alle mie spalle c'è un panorama fantastico, infatti siamo a Bergamo per la data uh, dei Phantomas, fra poco qua con me ci saranno ci sarà non Mike Patton che come potete sentire magari dal sottofondo sta facendo il soundcheck, ma ci saranno Trevor e Buzz che faranno un'intervista veramente insolita, un'intervista a due che vi assicuro non potete mancare, fra poco qui con me ci sono i Phantomas.
Iniziamo così l'intervista ai Phantomas, ci sono qua con noi Buzz e Trevor. Uh, hanno un po' di problemi. Seems you're having some problems with uh, your Italian trip. Can you help me with this? Can you show me how to use these? Uh, I never use this. Well, you can, <laughs> I don't need them. You can read, but you can read the directions and help me. Of course, of course. Yeah. We I can, can go in the dressing I, room. I can make you drawings so you can use it easier. <laughs> okay. Lui ha delle, ha delle supposte qui in mano, I have to translate to people at home. Lui ha delle supposte, ha dei problemini intestinali e non solo. Mi ha chiesto se posso aiutarlo a leggere gli istruzioni. Ha detto che gli faccio dei disegnini, cose almeno. Why do you need them? <laughs> Why? You know the answer. Because Trevor likes this. He piace molto. I told you how to say it in Italian. You already forgot. Something about taking it up the ass. <laughs> qualcosa, su, qualcosa sul culo, insomma. Gli ha detto, si dice, gli piace prenderlo in quel posto. I go on a date, I like to take some of this. <laughs> I took it. Le prende quando deve andare prima un appuntamento. Yeah, he takes them earlier. Early, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then he goes on a date and he's ready. Yeah, exactly. It's flawless. Okay, se ne va a un appuntamento. Okay, you know the three second rules? Yeah. If something falls down and you pick it up in three seconds, you can use it. Uh, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, food or whatever. Okay. Okay. If you have to pick it up within three seconds, then you have to shove it up your ass. <laughs> Ready here. You take these. Okay. <laughs> okay. Va bene. Ragazzi? Drop top. I bet you will never do it. You bet? How much you want to bet? Uh, whatever you want. I'm too shy, I'm too shy. Gli ho detto, secondo me non lo farai mai, scommetto qualsiasi cosa. Ho detto, sono troppo timido e ho vinto io. I won, ok? Ha detto, eh, sono così pieno di merda ragazzi che i miei occhi sono marroni. I put it. I, I really like how this interview has begun. Good. Yeah. I'm glad. Okay. Because it's the only way it's going to go. <laughs> So I'll, I'll, I will explain to the people. Allora, Mike non, non ha voluto fare l'intervista perché è un po' stanco. Allora, gentilmente, Base e Trevor si sono prestati per fare l'intervista. Mi hanno detto, facci le stesse domande che avresti fatto a Mike. People say that you are crazy. Mm. Well, I think it's obvious if you just look at me. <laughs> Gli ho chiesto la prima domanda, perché le persone pensano che tu sei matto? Basta guardarmi e lo, lo sai, insomma, subito.
Pesca Putana. Are you still living in Italy or you live abroad? Do, how do you like our Italian audience? Because people really love you a lot and they're, they're always interested in what you do besides music. I renounce uh, everything Italian. <laughs> I hate... <laughs> you want to be what? Did say Dago here? Dago, what is Dago? Dago. Dago. What is Dago? Ask Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what is Dago? Uh, I think it's derogatory for Italian. <laughs> Allora io ho chiesto che so Mike ovviamente cosa, cosa ne pensa del, del popolo italiano visto che lui ha vissuto per parecchio tempo qua in Italia ha detto che non ne vuole più sapere ha detto che si darà uh, totalmente agli Stati Uniti non, non vuole più stare qua con noi ha rotto ogni rapporto perché si è stato anche un po' deluso dall'amore eccetera Let's talk about suspended animation. What's that? Your your latest album, Mike. You remember that? You you remember you sing in a band? You have a band? Sing. Yeah, you sing. <laughs> <laughs> Quote unquote sing. <laughs> okay, whatever you say. Okay. Uh, in this album, there is always uh, you talk about uh, uh, there is like this interaction between music and cartoon animation and cartoons. Uh, when we, you were a child, child, because we, there are, I think, cartoons from uh, the US or Japan cartoons that in Italy we really don't have. Oh, yeah? Uh, but... Uh, you have cartoons, you just yeah, have we do have... Films. Yeah, we always <laughs> see Fellini films. 24 hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. home from school, watch Yeah, we're very boring. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like to tell from the films. <laughs> Allora, questo album, Suspended Animation, è praticamente un album dove all'interno vengono realizzati suoni presi da samples di cartoni animati giapponesi e penso che sono andati molto forte in America e anche nel tempo in cui, insomma, Mike e i suoi amichetti erano giovani, cosa che purtroppo però qua in Italia non abbiamo, però, insomma, se voi state attenti magari qualcosa riuscite a recuperarlo. Why this idea to get uh, the cartoons uh, thing? Um... <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know. Mike, you did the record. Because, because all I do all day is watch cartoons. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, you're guessing. Well, no, lo sa nemmeno lui. Non sa cosa sta succedendo. Comunque, yeah. but I think you're. There, is there something wrong? Is that everything okay? Everything's great. Okay. Never been better. Okay. So let's let's keep the mic the mic thing. Let's talk, let's talk about. Let's talk with Buzz, not with Mike. Okay, oh, do you want to say we'll that? We'll see about that. Maybe okay. Maybe gets paid extra for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I won't tell you the truth anymore about me than I will about Mike. Okay, okay. Actually, I'll probably tell you the truth about Mike. Okay. But not about me. Okay. Okay. Um, 
how did you uh, did you, did you meet the first time Mike and how I mean this uh, uh, musical relationship began and uh, is it true that he writes all the songs and then you only have to uh, put them into music and you don't have the freedom to do your stuff or you put your uh, freedom and your musical uh, tastes in your in Phantomas music as well no I do nothing for Phantomas nothing except for play guitar so keep that in mind because <laughs> If you don't like Fanamas, that's not my fault. <laughs> allora, io chiesto se è vero quello che si dice in giro, che uh, Mike Patton scrive tutte le canzoni, poi gli dà insomma le cose che devono fare, loro lo eseguono e non devono fare nient'altro che eseguire il suo volere. O se, se poi mettono magari un po' del loro gusto musicale all'interno di tutte queste canzoni, fa assolutamente Mike è un dittatore, fa quello che vuole fare. Io qualsiasi cosa uh, faccia nei Phantom, ma se non vi piace, non è colpa sua, ma è colpa di Mike. <ride> We like the questions for Mike better. Okay, okay. You like the questions for Mike better. No, okay. Okay. I thought you were applying. Uh, about this record, you said once, I do almost everything for myself, but I did this one for the kids. Which kind of relationship do you have with your fans? Um, I sign autographs and um, I get paid by them. <laughs> okay. How much, how, uh, how much did you get for the last autograph? Uh, well, I don't get paid for autographs, but when they come to the show, they pay. Uh, they pay? They pay to get into the show. Oh, okay. And then I get paid at the end of the night. What about... They what pay with their brain cells. What about having the shows for free? Yeah, we did a free show two, no, two nights ago. Is tonight free? No. Oh. Yeah. So you get paid? Yeah, I still get paid. Okay. Allora. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's, that's how I afford these. Okay. Loro vogliono... Actually, you didn't afford those. Who did you? Yeah, we are in the country. Is that shit in there? Uh, I think so. Is that, a, what do they call it? Aqua Stalioni or something? Aqua... Shit water. Aqua di merda. Aqua di merda. Uh, aqua stagnante. Stagnante. Okay. Stag okay. C'è un trattore qua sotto. Stagnante. 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 It's very, very aqua hard. stagnante. Dunque, noi continuiamo con la storia del fatto che loro vogliono le stesse domande che avrei fatto a Mike Patton. E una di quelle è: io penso sempre molto a me stesso, ma in questo disco, uh, quello di Suspender Animation, ho pensato molto ai miei fan. Che rapporto hai con i tuoi fan? Gli ho detto: mi faccio pagare, rispondendo come se fosse Mike Patton, ha detto: mi faccio pagare da loro. E loro vengono in concerti, mi pagano. Io vengo pagato poi alla fine dagli organizzatori del concerto. E ogni tanto firmo qualche autografo. How was the work we are on the new album, Medulla? Uh, working with Bjork. Well, she's from Iceland. And so the main thing that I wanted when I worked with Bjork on a new record is I was hoping I was going to be able to get into her pants. <laughs> and so, Did you succeed? And so while I was fucking her... <laughs> uh, actually, uh, let me think. Uh, we, yeah, we actually recorded some of the uh, tracks while I was fucking her. <laughs> That's why you're so sensual. Exactly, yeah. That's why the record's so good. Because while I was fucking her... very comfortable with the word fuck. Why not? Yeah. These people can't understand what I'm saying. Yeah, of course they do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like working with Bjork. She had kind of a big mouth and she wasn't very good in bed. Uh, no, she wasn't? No, she wasn't. No, was, but dead fuck. How about that? How about that? Oh my god. She was a dead fish in bed. Just like the rest of the uh, Icelanders. Oh my god. That, she will be very happy when she will sit in. I, I think I will send this interview to her. Send it to her. Send it to her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Allora, l'altra domanda era, mi ha chiesto, chiedimi quella con il mio rapporto con Bjork, come è stato lavorare con, sul suo nuovo album Medulla? Ha detto, guarda, le canzoni migliori sono venute quando me la stavo trombando, è stato assolutamente fantastico e infatti tutti questi gemiti, tutto questo uh, fervore è assolutamente dato dal fatto che Bjork, uh, insomma, si stava facendo fare di tutto da me. E ha detto però sembra un po' un pesce morto come tutti gli islandesi, ha detto gli spediremo sicuramente questa cassetta a Bjork. Ok. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> I translate everything. Mi ha chiesto se ho tradotto questa cosa del pesce morto, ho detto sì. You said she was like a, a dead fish at the beginning. <laughs> pesce morto. Pesce morto. Pesce in bed. In bed, ha letto. Ok, Beh, precisiamo. Ok. Um, I found out that she wasn't a girl, too. Ah, oh, she wasn't. She's not a girl. She's Venus. Yeah. It's a dead fish, too. So how was the passive one? 
Excuse me? Who was the passive one? Who was... Oh, I'm definitely the pitcher. Oh, uh, okay. You're the pitcher? Yeah, she's catching for sure. Or he's catching for sure. Okay, okay. Yo que era pasivo, activo, le toque decisamente. Anyway, the wind blows. Ragazzi, questa intervista sta andando veramente malissimo. Ha detto che lui si piglia tutto quello che gli porta al vento. Described you as tireless music and innovator and the closest equivalent to a modern fr day Frank Zappa. What do you think of this? I never listened to Frank Zappa in my life. <laughs> so, that's all. Yes, you do good. He gives me. Yeah, I like. I like more his answers. Wow. Yeah, he's. They, they're more articulated. I mean, he talks about Bjork, talks about sex, he talks about music. I hate doing interviews. Uh, okay, so why why are you here? They made me. 
<laughs> they forced I was, you. I was in the air-conditioned trailer okay. reading a book my, oh, no. with my shoes off. But it's a fun interview. I mean, you're not taking that much. It's going to get fun later. Okay. <laughs> Gli ho chiesto, molti paragoni hanno mai fatto una Frank Zappa? Cosa ne pensi di questo? E fa, io non ho mai ascoltato Frank Zappa. E gli ho detto... No. Ah, ah. We are? Really? <laughs> E gli ho chiesto, ma lui ti ha... Do... Well. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can ask him. Yeah, yeah, ask him. Okay. Ask him if Frank Zappa was a homosexual. Ok, chiedi, chiediamo al, chiederemo al batterista se Frank Zappa è un omosessuale. Ha detto che lui non gli piace fare interviste, ma gli piace fare altro e spalmarsi le pomatine. Ah. This is something that no one knows. Just so you know. <laughs> ok. Not least question, Mike. <laughs> okay, okay. Now I will ask. I, I will ask both of you, both Mikes. Uh, what would you have done in life if you're not a musician? Hmm. I'd be up in the tower shooting people with a gun. Or I, I'd be a plumber. Or maybe I'd be some kind of sex worker. How about that? Okay, okay. And plumber and sex always goes together. Yeah, yeah. I'd be mucking out stalls at some kind of horrible uh, porno theater. How about that? Okay. Or maybe okay. I'd just kill myself. As a matter of fact, maybe I will kill myself. Uh, too many jobs, too many work, too many things to do. Think about, yeah. Yeah. Choose one. Pick up one. I'll kill myself. Okay. Ok, gli ho chiesto cosa avrebbe fatto nella vita se non fosse stato un musicista, allora ha tirato fuori che voleva fare uh, qualco, yeah, of course. Uh, voleva fare il, um, l'idraulico, poi ha detto no, quasi quasi a un, gestire qualcosa che ha um, una torre dove tu passi e spari alle persone, poi no, definitivamente decido che mi voglio uccidere, se non fosse stato un musicista mi sarei ucciso. What about you? Uh, I would be a failed poet, alcoholic, living at my mom's house. Um, surviving on a diet of crackers and celery. <laughs> Do you write poems? No. <laughs> and uh, having, and, uh, and constantly using Ruskoroid every day. <laughs> okay. After anal sex. Yeah. yeah I, sorry, Some here. good anal sex, it's always welcome. Yeah? Yeah. While listening to Bjork. Okay. <laughs> well, as long as I got a thumb, you got a place to sit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Shall I translate this? this yeah. Shall I translate everything? Sure, why not? Okay. And that's what Bjork said while he was fucking her. <laughs> okay. Gli ho chiesto a Chiesa Trevor cosa avrebbe fatto nella vita se non fosse stato un musicista, sarebbe stato un poeta uh, fallito a casa di sua mamma a sgranocchiare cracker e poi avrebbe passato tutto il giorno a spalmarsi questa bellissima pol- pomata e mi ha detto ragazze state attenti perché finché c'è il mio dito sulla sedia voi sarete sempre soddisfatte. Okay, thank you guys for the interview. I think it was the funniest interview I've ever had. Of, of all time. Oh, yeah, of all time. Okay, thanks a lot and... Uh, thank you. Okay, Bye. grazie a tutti, ciao. My name is Buzz and... Trevor. We're from Phantom House and this is Rock TV. Hello, Rock TV. <laughs> Oh, e piace questa tortura? Però...
Brasil!